Hello everyone, welcome to Physics Veda. Today we will start a new topic that is intensity of electric field at some general point at P in terms of some standard parameters. This P point is situated at some perpendicular distance from the uniformly charged rod. Agar a picture ko yaha dekhenge, to humne consider kiya hai that is x y is a uniformly charged rod. Iske upar jo total charges hai wo q charges hai. Because of the charges are on the length of this wire, so it having the linear charge density. So uh, we have already studied in the previous lecture, what is the linear charge density? It is the charge per unit length. So let's say this uniformly charged rod having the linear charge density that is lambda. At the point P, we have to calculate the electric field. This P point is situated some at some perpendicular distance from the uniformly charged rod. Let's say this distance is R in this uh, picture. Let us consider from the point O, कुछ x distance पर मैं एक dx element को consider करूँगा, क्योंकि यहाँ पर मैं एक general expression बनाना चाहता हूँ, कि अगर मुझे एक standard parameter in terms of angles पता है, तो मैं easily electric field intensity को calculate कर सकता हूँ, क्योंकि हमें पता है, कि अगर angle increase होता है, तो corresponding length भी increase होती है, so angle height से related है, तो wire की length चाहे कितने भी बड़ी हो, हम एंगल के टर्म्स में इसको कैलकुलेट करेंगे। सो so, uh, O पॉइंट से हमने x डिस्टेंस पर एक dx एलिमेंट कंसीडर किया। इस dx एलिमेंट पर जो चार्ज है, वो स्मॉल चार्ज है। एंड दैट स्मॉल चार्ज dq इट इस इक्वल टू लैम्डा इनटू dx। बिकॉज़ ऑफ लीनियर चार्ज डेंसिटी इस इक्वल टू चार्ज अपॉन लेंथ। so this small charge dq it is equal to lambda that is the linear charge density into the small element of length here i have considered the limits that is theta 1 and theta 2 theta 1 and theta 2 angles corresponds to the height of the wire here due to the small element having the small charge dq the electric field is also small so that this is the electric field that is de that is the small electric field the line joining from dx to p point makes an angle theta so that in order to split the components of this de there are two components that is the component of electric field along x axis and the component of electric field along y axis so here the vertically opposite angles are equal so if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta so the electric field along this line is equal to dx that is the electric field along x axis it is equal to de cos theta and also this is the perpendicular component that is the electric field along the y axis it is equal to de sin theta so we will calculate here the electric field separately for the x axis and for the y axis so here there are two electric fields a electric field along x axis that is integration of de cos theta और दूसरा electric field है y axis के along that is integration of de sin theta now first हम लोग calculate करेंगे कि इस de की value क्या होगी so this de is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught that is charge here because of uh, de is the electric field from the small element of charge so that is why the small charge is there. So I can put here this is dq upon the distance here. What is the distance here? The distance is uh, x square plus r square because of this is the distance square. So this distance it is equal to square root of x square plus r square. So with the square the square root may cancel. The value of dq is equal to lambda into dx. So this de electric field is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught lambda into dx upon x square plus r square. यहाँ पर हम कुछ substitutions करेंगे क्योंकि starting में मैंने आपको बताया था कि हम किसी भी general point पर electric field calculate करना चाहते हैं और height angle के correspond होती है angle change होगा तो height change होगी so angle के terms में हमें पूरी distance को change करना पड़ेगा इसीलिए यहाँ पर हम कुछ substitutions करेंगे so here 
ये जो मैं कर्सर यहां पर मूव कर रहा हूं ये एक ट्राइंगल आपके पास बन रहा है डीएक्स एलिमेंट ओ एंड पी इस ट्राइंगल से हमें कुछ सब्सटीट्यूशन मिलेंगे और वो क्या सब्सटीट्यूशन मिलेंगे यहां देखते हैं हम लोग दैट इज टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू x upon r because of tan theta is perpendicular upon base. So यहां से मुझे जो substitution मिलता है वो substitution मिलता है मुझे x is equal to r tan theta. यहां पर मैं dx को change कर सकता हूं differentiation से that is dx is equal to r sec square theta and d theta. So मुझे यहां पर dx का substitution मिल चुका है So I can replace here the two values that is the value of dx as, as well as the value of x. After replacing the values, what you will get here that is de is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught that is the constant. It is lambda. In place of dx, I can put here that is r sec square theta and d theta upon here I can also put the value of x that is x is equal to r tan theta here that is r square 10 square theta plus r square. After simplifying what we will get here that is d is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught lambda r sec square theta d theta. Here from the denominator I can take r square common then 10 square theta plus 1 remains in the bracket and by the trigonometry identity 10 square theta plus 1 is sec square theta. So what I can write here that is r square sec square theta. So after simplification sec square theta may cancel from both side and also this r cancel with the denominator with one power. So the finally the result is that is de is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught lambda d theta upon r. Now we will calculate the two electric fields that is the electric field along x axis and the electric field along y axis. So we have the two equations in order to calculate the electric fields that is ex and ey. Electric field along x axis यहां पर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड को कैलकुलेट करने के लिए हम डीई की वैल्यू को सब्स्टिट्यूट करेंगे और सब्स्टिट्यूट करने के बाद हमें जो वैल्यू मिलेगी उसको इंटीग्रेट करेंगे सो लेट्स से हियर दिस इज ई एक्स इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन 1 अपॉन 4 पाई एप्सिलॉन नॉट लैम्डा cos थीटा d थीटा अपॉन r हियर द टर्म 1 अपॉन 4 पाई एप्सिलॉन नॉट इज द कांस्टेंट टर्म the linear charge density that is lambda is also constant here and the p point is fixed from the uniformly charged rod so it is also constant here so i can write here that is ex is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught lambda upon r integration cos theta d theta now substituting the limits that is the lower limit here is the theta 2 and the upper limit is theta 1. So I can write here minus theta 2 to theta 1. Here integration of cos theta is sin theta. So I can write here ex is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught lambda upon r. So it is sin theta with the limit minus theta 2 to theta 1. Now putting the upper limit and the lower limit here. So what I will get here that is ex is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught lambda upon r. Here first of all we put the upper limit that is sin theta 1. And then minus lower limit that is sin minus theta 2. And we know that sin minus theta is minus sin theta. So, the value of the electric field along x axis is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught lambda upon r sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2. So, this is the general expression for the electric field along x axis. Now, we will calculate the electric field that is Ey, that is Ey is equal to integration de sin theta. So again, now putting the value of DE here, that is EY, it is equal to integration of lambda upon 4 pi epsilon naught R sin theta 
and d theta. Lambda upon 4 pi epsilon naught r is the constant term and the constant we will write outside the integration. So e y it is equal to lambda upon 4 pi epsilon naught r integration sin theta d theta. So the limit is again theta 2 to theta 1. The integration of sin theta is minus cos theta. So we can write here ey it is equal to lambda upon 4 pi epsilon naught r that is minus cos theta and now putting the limits minus theta 2 to theta 1. Now putting the upper limits and the lower limits here then we will get then ey is equal to lambda upon 4 pi epsilon naught r now putting the upper limit first that is minus cos theta 1 putting first the upper limit that is minus cos theta 1 minus again next minus sign is that is minus cos minus theta 2 here cos minus theta is cos theta so the value is ey lambda upon 4 pi epsilon naught r cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1. So this is the electric field along y axis. Here we can also write the intensity of electric field in terms of unit vector. So it is as that is electric field vector it is equal to the electric field vector along x axis with the unit vector that is i cap plus the electric field along y axis with the unit vector j cap. So this is about how to calculate the electric field strength or the intensity of electric field or simply we can say the electric field due to the uniformly charged rod at some general point. The simplicity of this calculation of electric field strength is that if we know the distance that is the perpendicular distance, if we know the charge density and if we know the angle of ranges that we can easily calculate the electric field strength. We can also make here different different cases. For example, if this wire is infinitely long, it means if this wire is infinitely long, then the limits of the theta 1 and the theta 2 belongs to 90 degree. Because of this end is extended up to infinity and this end, this end is also extended up to infinity. So that the theta 1 is 90 degree as well as the angle theta 2 is also 90 degree. The next case is here if I want to calculate the electric field at this point from this length. That is one end is extended up to infinity. So here this theta 1 angle goes to 90 degree while the theta 2 angle goes to 0 degree. So with the help of these angles we can solve the electric field intensity. We can calculate the electric field intensity in very simplified way. Thank you so much.